name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and someone asked me a good question. It was about MotoGP racing and the fact that they have uh, engine braking controls. Now I can't show the video because the MotoGP wankers are MotoGP wankers. I can just show you pictures basically, I'll probably get away with that. Um, but on MotoGP bikes they have loads of controls. They have power controls, um, uh, they have fuel map controls, basically it's a button and generally they have like uh, in this example it's A, B and C, but one, two, three, it depends how the manufacturer want to do it. But he did ask, how come they have engine braking controls and how do they control that, how, what happens? So, uh, as I've said before, the thing that supplies engine braking is the fact that you have your piston on the way down, which means it's compressing the crankcase and you might have a little breather hose in your engine but this piston size here this area we're on about fucking ports again and this area here so a1 here and a2 here well this one's a lot smaller so you're going to get faster acceleration but there is going to be the engine is going so fast that there is going to be a pressure difference because um, there's always a lag behind the piston will press and as the piston's going down the pressure in here pushing up resisting this piston when you're on the intake stroke means that you get engine braking any road so you have all this pressure here pushing down and the piston is drawing a vacuum so the way that the uh, motor gp thing does is what it does is it, it opens and closes the butterfly it basically has control because it's a fly-by-wire system you you know you don't have to pull the throttle for these throttle butterflies to start dicking around so what can happen is, is if you want really strong engine braking, what you do is you close this butterfly as much as possible, or nearly as much as possible. So the pressure in here is low, the pressure in here is higher, and the net resulting force of little bits of pressure pushing against here means that this slows the piston down, which means slows the engine down. That goes through your gearbox and to your rear wheel and it starts to slow you down. That's engine braking. But on MotoGP, they can change the amount that they do that by opening the butterfly electronically, it controls it. As soon as you're on the brakes, it knows you're off the throttle and all the rest of it. It can actually open that butterfly and allow more air to go into the cylinder and apply more pressure here so the forces aren't as high so normal engine braking you have kind of the forces are like this and if you open the butterfly a bit then you will do that you know what i mean now can you do this on your bike generally not because how do you open your throttle well you open your throttle which means it adds fuel the other thing it can do as well is it can also control the fuel levels because even when you're revving down the engine is still running it hasn't cut the fuel it's just that you close the throttle so the amount of fuel is bled in. What the engine can do is if it detects that you are trying to engine brake, you know, you are applying the brakes, the uh, speed of the engine is slowing down. Um, you know, it's got its crank, um, crank position sensor so it knows how fast the crank is going. Or your cam positioning sensor if it only has one of them. Still, that's related directly to crank speed. It can basically add a bit more fuel in there for the last, every time it can add just a bit more fuel so the pressure due to combustion is a bit higher in here. Um, but it's, it's kind of like this balancing act between playing with your throttle butterfly and it kind of feathers it sometimes, or there are systems where it feathers it. Um, so it doesn't open the taps and just let it fully in and all the rest of it. It just feathers it and fucks around with fuel mixture and stuff just to help aid. So if you like a lot of engine braking, you can put it on one setting. The ECU knows that when you want engine braking, you want this tiny little force and this big you know, but it basically works it out like that. So that's how they can do it. Depends on rider style, how much engine braking. Some of them don't like it. Some of them want more for a certain race, less for a certain race. Maybe as they're going around and their tires are wearing off, they want more or less. They're trying to conserve tires. They can change it. And this, that, and it just gives them a different feel in each corner. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.